Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are still on NixOS, I promise. I, I remember getting a comment about being still on it, and it's like, Hey, look, we're still there. See? I'm kidding. I entered the wrong command. Blammo. So, our current success with NixOS has been as follows. Okay? We got the Cache OS kernel. We got Messagit. We got Messagit 32-bit. Uh-huh. We have the NVIDIA drivers. Uh, we have Microsoft Edge, we have Nautilus, Vestop, Cider, OBS, Resolve, Affinity Photo and Design, we have Steam, we have Lutris, we have Heroic, all fully working and functioning, and we have my quick shell desktop environment. So, things have been going very smoothly to you, not to me. Uh... I can tell you some horror stories, but I think I'd rather save that for the end of everything. So we've transitioned from using a single configuration into using a flake with a home.nix and also uh, a configuration. So if we see here, there's lots of things going on. And right here as well, this is our flake. I'm going to try to go over it as much as I can. In other words, you get to look at it, and I don't comment on it, because I'm still a little shaky on how all of this works. But um, here's where Photo and Designer are done. And as you can see, they're short term to AFF, which is funny. Uh, here's which deals with the Messagit Home Manager. And uh, I think it's in the configuration where it deals with... Cache OS kernel. I don't know where that would be for boot. We would have to find out where boot is declared. I think it's another file. Uh, probably somewhere within modules because there's more. Is it in here? So this is default. Yes, right there. That's where the Cache OS kernel is defined, as well as our audio, our display, and stuff, our keyboard, our NVIDIA drivers. So this would be hardware. And this is where our system packages are. So this is all good stuff. There's some Chrome extra stuff. So at least uh, we're able to run. Are we currently? That's an X11 indicator. So it's still X Wayland. It's not like anything new. Damn. Uh, actually, you know what? If we probably just set this to Wayland, that probably deals with it. There we go. Done. Safe. And uh, now after certain changes, all I need to do is rebuild. Like that. And once it's done, our application should show up in Wayland. Let's actually quit that so we can uh, tell. That's an indicator that tells you if you're in X Wayland or Wayland. Because I don't know if it's going to force it to use what we need. No, the indicator's still there. So we would have to set that somewhere else. Yeah, that's fine. So all of these are individual little modules, I guess, that allow you to have different things going on. Like, uh, this seems to be another set of um, things related to flat packs, hardware, Bluetooth, OBS, Steam. And these off-put devices here, more system packages, additional system packages, security pull quit is enabled, a bunch of other stuff is defined, and then we have this one, which is, I don't know what the hell this does, but this is this is here. I was told to make this because I was having pull kit issues, so I couldn't get into here, but now we're good. And uh, that makes me really, really happy, so great. Getting this to work, it was basically because we weren't targeting the right file and I had to use Claude 4 um, to figure out Claude 4 Sonnet and once I did that uh, Quickshell just worked and I didn't have to make any real edits to it I had to make some minor changes my system shell um, my system tray was done wrong and I stole this from Lysak because he told me to he had a better implementation of the right-click menu. 
And then when before before that, when we got into um, here, there was no right click menu. So I had to rebuild the right click menu. It's not the way that I want it, but it still functions like I'll show you. Uh, watch this. Move to workspace five. Now we're in workspace five. So it, it works. That's all that matters. I do want to turn that into a sub menu because I feel like it's just too long or I want to make it a collapsible menu. So it starts off collapsible. You click a button here. It like displays itself out or you press a button and an arrow goes out and a sub menu over here is created. I have to figure that out still and I'm probably going to do that this weekend. No, I can't because I'm on Casio OS this weekend because I get to do this thing on my laptop. Because I'm not installing NixOS on my laptop. That's just sadistic. No, I need that for other purposes. It's where the main development of the desktop environment goes. So, oh man, this means I'm branched off in two. Oh no. I'm going to have to pick the parts that I redid out of this and actually put it forth because I like the new changes. Other changes that I ended up making while we get in here was the ability to uh, change the background color for the dock. I'm not sure if you noticed, but it is colored. You can see like there's a little color there, but I'll try to make it seem more obvious. Just give me a sec. Uh, it's a bit hard to make the colors show, but uh, yeah, that should do it. La -ha, there we go. So now you can change the dock color to whatever you want. Uh, which is super nice. The problem is that the transparency value, you can make it look like it's actually purple while also being transparent, which is nice. Top bar has the same ability, but it's currently not enabled. So let's go do that. Uh, this one's a little more tricky. Okay. It's just a little more difficult to make it show. And uh, there you go. Now it's showing. It seems to be controlled color-wise by the application that you use. And I don't know how the hell that's possible, but it is. Like, there you go. It's weird. It's very picky. But again, you can totally customize that, which is nice. I've got to clean it up still. Look, it's functionality over form at the moment. So if things are not aligned as they should be, it ends up getting a little bumpy. And I know people have complaints about things not being aligned, this and that and whatnot. You got to understand that I want things to work before I end up doing things. They need their basic functionality. Okay. And uh, that's what, you know, Cosmic is trying to do, but they're not doing a very good job. Um, it's, it's really bad, but... I'm hoping they'll figure themselves out when everything goes into beta. Like, they really, really, really badly need animations. Because right now everything is so chunky and outdated. They need a nice performance and optimization boost. Because everything just runs like chud. And, like, I, I hope the best for them. Honestly, I'll revisit it when the beta comes out. But, uh, as of right now, it's completely unusable for me. I've tried... I really did. I couldn't run it for more than an hour after I ended my last video or live stream with it. So there's that. Anyway, uh, I think that's it. You know, things are going very, very well on NixOS. And, uh, well, the next video for NixOS, I think you're probably going to get is on Monday or Tuesday. I think I don't want to like make a video every day. Because there's not much going on. It's just a normal distro once you get it all set up. Okay. So the final video is going to be on Tuesday. And then I'll make my final conclusion on Friday. Or Thursday. Probably Thursday. Yeah. Because, well, it's not going to be a full two weeks. But you get the point. All right. I, I've, I've used this long enough now that I just have to learn what I've done. And hopefully I can translate that for you into something you can understand because I know not all people learn the same way and people forget that all the time but if I can translate NixOS into something that is learnable by everyone then this has not been for nothing and that's what I want to accomplish.
So we just got to hope for the best on that one. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy Saturday's video that was recorded on Friday. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to have a video for Sunday, but if I do, it will be out. This one's going to be out at 9 a.m. So look forward to that. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Members get videos early. So if you want to join up and support me and become a member, it's really cheap. It's like two bucks. There's also higher tiers as well. And YouTube constantly mentions that I should mention that. So, yeah. Uh, all the support in the world helps make more videos, more content. Bye. Thank you very much, by the way, for all the support and stuff.